Hi, it's Matt Thomas here for Sonic Academy running through some tech tips for you. Right now we're going to look at a way to use your pitch shifters to kind of glitch up and distort a sound. Pitch shift doesn't sort of get that much use compared to like, you know, the other uh, go-tos like delays, reverbs, phases and flanges and stuff. So I'm just going to show you a couple of things you can do to kind of get some mileage out of that plugin. Most pitch shifters, um, as you know, kind of slightly uh, degrade the sound when they're pushing much further than a sort of semitone or two away from the original pitch. Now, when you're trying to retune something musically so that it sort of fits into a remix or whatever, then um, you're trying to avoid those artifacts and glitches. But when you're trying to kind of add some sort of strange, broken down kind of character to what you're doing, it's kind of what you want. But you don't want to end up changing the pitch away if you've actually already played a part that you're completely happy with it's sitting there in key in your track but you want some of that sort of like broken down thing so you're going to need a couple of pitch shifters so um, I've got a track here very simple a bass a uh, single loop I've got a couple of copies there doing other stuff but we'll look at those later really all we've got here is um, a beat a pad and a bass line I'll just play what's going on there Now, if you're just making kind of, you know, the retro kind of late 80s throwback house, then you're done. Brilliant. Release that. But um, what we're going to try and do is actually give it some more character and sort of vibe. So we're going to work through these parts and do little tricks to them. So the first one we're going to look at is the pad. So... This pad is just using uh, the analog that comes uh, with Ableton, and it's just playing a couple of chords. I'll flick it open there for you. There you go. Just a couple of simple little chords. Play. That's it. I've not bothered quantizing the ends on them because you start getting too machiney. You've got to quantize the start. So nothing, nothing clever whatsoever. What I want to do is kind of, if you, th I don't know if you're familiar with, um, you know, people like Fortet and Burial and stuff who generally kind of have these very atmospheric tracks, you know, layers of sort of crackle and whoosh and strange kind of bits of dub stuff. So I would like to kind of take that pad, which is a pretty straight, just straight out the back of a synth noise, and turn it into something a little more like that. So I've got a couple of uh, pitch shifters here. Let's bring the first one up. Now these are free, uh, so if you like these, uh, you can go and grab them. There is a pitch, pitch Proof here by Aegean Music. And over here is the one that you may or may not have uh, already in your setup, which is the Apple um, AU Pitch audio unit, which there we go. Um, both pretty simple. I mean, pitch, pitch Proof, to be honest, actually has got sort of like the ability to play harmonized uh, intervals and all this sort of stuff. So quite a, uh, you know, set to certain keys, actually not uh, necessarily a, a kind of you know, idiot proof plugin but for what we're doing it's very simple we're just going to be using it to pitch up and then we're going to pitch back down with a different pitch shifter now the reason for that is every one of these pitch shifters has a sort of a different character now pitch proof for example has a thing called transient fix where it tries to sort of listen out for any um, transients like hard edges like starts of beats or uh, notes and tries to preserve those because pitch shifting has a habit of kind of slightly smearing the timing of stuff now if you've got a pad, there's no real hard edges in there, so it's actually listening for something that's not going on, and so it kind of starts creating a bit of a juddering sound, so we'll hear that now, we'll just um, switch on Pitch Proof. So here's the pad. Okay, with Pitch Proof on, but with nothing being done to it, no change to the pitch. As you'd expect, no big change. But if I stick the pitch up an octave, You can hear straight away there's all kinds of things going on there, like a sort of like a juddering, jerking, and also the harmonics are starting to sound a bit ugly. So straight away that sort of pad has been given a load more character, but it does sound um, obviously it's an octave higher than we want it, and maybe a little kind of shrill now if it was working musically before. So what we're going to do is stick on a U pitch. I'll take pitch proof off a second. So pitch proof's jumping it up 12 semitones, so we want a U pitch to drop it down 12. So 
that's 1200 cents uh, there's 12 semitones so get that there okay so if we hear this on its own we should now hear that pad drop down an octave Now tightness in the AU pitch is similar to the transient fix in pitch proof. Um, so I'm actually going to turn it off with this one so we get kind of like a softer smeared thing. It kind of starts to smear out all the judders that have been built here. And so we end up sort of back at a kind of slightly smoother sound, but it's still got traces of that wobble in there. So if they're both switched on, we should end up with the pad still playing back at the pitch it was originally, but now with a whole new sonic character. So there you go, straight away we've kind of made this much more atmospheric sounding pad. Trying to program something like that would probably require you sort of get your head deeply stuck into one of the deeper synthesizers where we've just pulled up a very simple analog simulation and just stuck it through a pitch shifter up an octave, back down an octave, and all of a sudden you've got all this mood and vibe. Just to quickly sort of show you with something a little more um, percussive what this effect does, if we just... Um, pull these two plugins and stick them on the dry beat we should be able to hear what it does to a drum so the beat on its own is there we go you can hear straight away it's taking a little bit we'll just hear it dry one second and stick the AU pitch on to bring it down now as I said we've got that tightness rolled right down to zero on the AU pitch which kind of annihilates the front end of the beat so we end up with this That's actually quite a groovy little sound. It's not very percussive anymore, but if you wanted to kind of create like a, a sort of ghost shuffly part, like a sort of like a, the same way you might use like a, a shaker part, like a you know, pitch down, you can take a beat that you like the groove of, slap it through a couple of pitch shifters and end up with something which you actually end up using more like a sort of shuffle part rather than the main drum. You stick this behind something else. And don't forget the whole thing of pitches. Just have a play. I'm using like sort of, you know, 1200 up, 1200 down, but, you know, it hasn't got to be that at all. So these sort of softer beats are actually quite a groovy thing you'll hear in the weirder kind of left field music that's grown out of urban garage drum and bassy sort of dub stuff. These kind of softened out beats, you know, you kind of hear them all across that kind of music. So this is a way to kind of pull that up if you're using beats. As I say, with pads, you can get a kind of a gargled effect as things start it's taking on a kind of an in, sort of interesting life. And the reason this stuff matters is that these little movements and judders bring the sound to your attention when you're doing the mix. So you haven't got to kind of mix things as loud or as bold. You can sort of like rely on the fact there's bits of movement going on and the ear likes to catch those. So there you go, that's a couple of pitch shifters. I mean, by all means, I'm going to use these two. You can pull up, you know, go and go on a pitch shifter sort of spree. Just download all the free ones you can find and see what character each one has. Stick a couple in series, pitch up one, pitch down the other and see what you get. Stick sounds through it, have fun.